I'd like to share with people uh, a little bit about realistic art and what drawing is. Realistic art is not a photographic copy of what you're looking at. Realistic art is an interpretation on the part of the artist. And the kind of realistic art that I particularly like is symbolic realism, which means that you put together things in a realistic fashion, but you're making a personal statement about something. And um, an example over my shoulder is a statement about a drawing pencil. And if you could have a pencil do any wonderful thing that you can imagine, um, this is what it would do. But it's a realistic presentation of it. Uh, I've been teaching for years. Um, uh, I spend a, about three hours a week teaching in here, in the studio here. And I do it because a lot of people taught me and I got a lot to give back. The first thing that's really important is that most people look and don't see. And learning to see is the beginning of the battle. Then learning to how interpret what you see visually so that other people can experience it and enjoy it also. And that goes into what I call the four principal things, which are line and form and value and color. I recommend drawing. <laughs> and I, I tell my students, if you're stuck on the phone, doodle. Just do a line. Do a line so it's light and gets dark. Do a line so it, it screams. Do a line so it's, it's soft and pretty. Just, just keep doing, just keep it moving. Just keep doing it. Uh, flowers are, I love flowers, but flowers are dull because they don't have any eyes. They don't have any faces. And um, I love animals. That you learn to leave things out by experience. I think that, that um, you learn from doing, eventually you begin to learn what it is you really want to say. And uh, you don't necessarily, if you're doing a portrait of somebody, it's not necessarily important that you can draw a ruffle perfectly. But it's very important to catch the eyes. The eyes truly do it. How do you define I've got drawing? things to say. Um, what keeps me drawing is, drawing is a wonderful feeling when you're working and it's going well it, it it's like a it just makes you feel good all over uh, one of the joys of, of working in medical and fine art and dog portraits I've been doing lately is seeing somebody get what they want and the delight they have in that I got it right I came from a family that was medical lawyers and artists because I can isolate exactly what's important. And what's important is um, the direction of the wound, um, if it was, if it was premeditated, what it went through, what organs it went through, which tells you a lot about how quickly someone dies, how much pain they went through, and that type of thing. Um, it can be invaluable because the way I do it is I overlay. I start with the outside of the body, then I go to the muscle layer, then I go to the organ layer, and, uh, through the bone layer, and then to the organ layer, and I put acetate over it, and the lawyer that is presenting it, usually it's the prosecution, can draw on it um, and explain to the jury in very simple terms, and so can the experts, what this all means. Otherwise, it's just a lot of words. Oh, It's all the same thing. You know, it's, it's just wanting to communicate.